My name's Chris Swan, and as many of you know, t just over two years ago, we lost our son Daniel when he was assaulted and died three weeks later. Before this happened, my level of spiritual understanding was enough to make sense of my life. Afterward, I felt as if I'd been led into a wilderness and left there. I had to look more deeply than ever I had to before at what I believed about God and what I was really trusting in. It's hard to rec reconcile biblical promises of protection when you're the evil in this world has caused your child to suffer. There was an innocence I had to let go of. I wanted my old life back. It's hard to realize that we'll never really get over this, that it's going to hurt as long as we live. I cast about in my mind for some way to ease the pain. I really wanted somewhere else to turn, somewhere to make sense of it. I... I thought about Peter and about him saying, where else would I go? I struggled so much with why it happened. I wanted to, I wanted so much to understand if I was being disciplined and why. But Joe Burley never knew why he suffered and I won't be likely to know either. I have a deeper belief in the sovereignty of God than I did before. He's not managing things as they happen. Nothing surprises him. He's in complete control. It may be that this was discipline because of my sin. It may not have been because of that. I won't know in this life. But if I really believe that God's sovereign and that he's good and that he loves me, I don't have to know. I can just be small and trust him like a child or a father. It is very strange that walking through such suffering could leave me with a deeper sense of God's love for me than I ever thought I would have. Before, I wouldn't really believe that he loved me. I wouldn't really let him be the lover of my soul. I, there was pride in me, and I was carrying my own sin somehow. Really beginning to take in that he loves me. It stills my fears allows me to stop striving so hard. I have such a living hope that all the promises are true. I have such a longing for heaven. This helps me work at laying down my idols. I can stop grasping at people for approval. My identity is hidden with Christ and God. I can stop demanding comfort because this world's not my home. I am so much less sure of myself and so much more sure of my Savior than I was before. I do want to serve him and I want to be willing to lay down my life for my friends.